Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how we can compute a new variable using either some data from the existing data set in SPSS or by using some formula. So let's get started. We see here a data set that uh, contains some data for employees or students. We see that we have a, a variable related to the scores that uh, students or employees have received at some uh, exercise. Suppose it is mathematics or reading or English. Let's take the mathematics column. Uh, we see that all the rows here have, have contain a value that is between uh, 50 something and 70 plus. So if we want to uh, categorize the students in two groups. The first one will be the students with a good, overall good uh, level of um, exam, uh, a score, and uh, students with a very good score. Uh, in order to do that, an easy way is to create a new variable. So let's go to the variable view, insert a new variable, a categorical one, between uh, the mathematics and writing. So let's click here and insert a new variable. Let's name it uh, grade uh, and grade in mathematics. The uh, variable is going to be numeric one, but it will take zero or one. Good, very good. Uh, the values will be zero for good so we add it and one for very good okay so we have a categorical variable so we need to set it as an ordinal because we have some order input it's okay and let's reduce that to four Okay, so this is the grade. Now, we have defined the variable. If we go back to our data set, we see that all the values are empty. So now it is time to calculate the values according to the grade that the students have received in mathematics. In order to do that, we select from the transform the compute variable choice. And here we have a panel where we can use mathematical expressions or logical expressions in order to calculate the values for a new variable or an existing variable. It doesn't. Uh, it works the same way. And fill the column for the grades. So the target variable here is the one that we're looking to fill. So. The grade M is the target variable, the one that we are willing to calculate the values. So the numeric expression will be either 0 or 1. The 0 we said is, very, is the good one. So as soon as we have a mixed situation here, we will set initially all the values, sorry for that, we will set all the values here equal to zero and then we will formulate an if case and we will uh, apply that to the very good one let's do that by setting this numeric expression here and pressing the ok this action modifies the grade variable and sets all the cases equal to zero so this is the initial step. The next step is to define the very good ones. So let's go back again here. And right now we want to replace the zeros with one only for the cases. And this is why we go and pick the if uh, scenario to define the cases that have a mathematics score greater 
than say 65. So this way we have created a scenario which says replace all the values in the target variable grade with 1 only if the score in mathematics is greater than 65. If we press OK then we see that the grade has been appropriately set right now and we can sort it in ascending and we can switch from the numbers to the labels so right now we can see that we have seven students with a score below 65 which is considered as good and the rest are very good so this is an easy way to compute a variable either an existing one or a new one in more complex situations we have to think before we uh, apply all those changes because we might uh, impact some results thank you very much